Yeah, I think he went to gym, so he'll be back anytime soon. So, sir, we'll be talking about the sports headline, and the interesting one that people have been asking question about is this staff best I am um, best player award list. We have Osime, we have Bonu, Akimi, Mane Sala, then. We have lots of them, sir. So, yeah, we have many of them. So, people have been asking that is there why is CAF not showing us the criteria for choosing this best player award? And why are Af an African nation, the grassroots African here, why are they not being picked? Why are they always picking this European player, the African player playing in the European League and South American League? So why are they not coming down to our league? Don't we have best player? I think so. The criteria and the player. I don't think that uh, you know from your question, the way I understand it, in my own opinion, is that the African players based in Europe, based in Asia, based in America and all over the world, they perform better than their African based player players counterparts. You know why? Our league in Africa is too cheap. We have not been able in Africa to get up to world class leagues. The only best league I see in Africa are those players, those countries in the Northern Africa. And let me tell you, those countries in the Northern Africa are more or less countries that are among the Middle East Europe. Egyptian League is good. Egypt is part of Middle East Europe. Tunisian League is good. Tunisia is part of Middle East Europe. Algerian uh, leagues, likewise, Moroccans. I listen to me. So those countries are referred to Middle East. They are not African countries. But from Egypt down to Southern Africa, you have the best league in Southern Africa itself. SA. ROSA. Republic of South Africa. That's where you have world-class league playing over there. In Nigeria here, Nigerian league is like Nigerian politics. Nigerian league is like Nigerian government. Everything the biggest country, black country in the world is doing here is flops and shameful things. Nigerian league is nonsense. They have bought over the whole referee the Nigerian league, which is why none of our referee has ever gone professional. You know what I mean? Playing or, or officiating world class fiesta, like World Cup, like UEFA. Every country in the world has right to officiate in any any league, any world what sports fiesta that is based on that round object called football. The Nigerian referees they don't accept them because Nigerian referees they always take bribe. The most corrupt country in the world. How do you expect people to be very, very interested in our league when we cannot get it right when our government is being for the like? They don't bring out money to fund our leagues. They eat the whole money, channel the whole money to their private purse, purses and accounts. Nigerian League is nowhere compared to that of uh, 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 Tunisia, Egypt, Europe, Premier League in the UK. I listen to the body slinger in Germany, Germany. Eh? La Liga in Spain. I'm trying to compare African League to body slinger. La Liga. Oga, you are not getting it right. So we are first from Africa. African leadership has failed football in Africa. The so server we are doing here is bent on what? Darkness. So now I think the problem is not even from the leagues. Is the problem from the calf? Why are they not standardizing the league okay, here? Tan, let, let me tell you, on the picking of the African number one players issue, you know, uh, it's just like I left that uh, answer. Let me give you the solution. Since inception of CAF, how many French English speaking country has officiated that platform as a chairman or overall chairman or president? None of them. Emma Saddamu was the next person to have succeeded uh, uh, this tall man that was there, this Cameroonian man, that calf chairman that lasted long. Uh, now, Francophone countries. Emma, I want to thank you, Kule. Emma Saddamu was the next person to, to, to take over from Isa Hayatu. They carry what bribe as they leave meat for cat and dog. They left it for him on the floor. I must have a watch it because he's a Nigerian. He collected bribe. They arrested him. 
They charged him to court because he was a bribery man. He will not officiate calf without you. You see what is truncated the right choice made by calf against the footballer of the year. You know, making the criteria open because if they make criteria open, the sumer head should be the one. So, Francophone, they are playing politics in Africa against their Anglophone counterparts. Since inception of that platform, it has been the Francophone. The Francophone has been heading it, heading it, heading it. No to the Anglophone because we don't get it right here. And if any Anglophone country should head it, hold that position, it will be Nigeria. The Nigeria is full of what? We will embezzlement, corruption. That's why nobody here is among the body, the strong officials of what that agency called CAF. I'm telling you the truth. Thank you for that, sir. So we are going for England. I don't know if you know about Guardiola. Guardiola has been in Spain now. No, he's since, Spain. Uh, Barcelona. He was, uh, you know, this thing with... He's currently uh, at Man Jose. City. Jose, uh, he's currently Jose Mourinho. Two of them were the two opponents we have in La Liga when he was with uh, Barcelona. Mourinho, I, told, I thought, or I think, was with Real Madrid. And two of them, they are the major what component opponents in La Liga in yes. the past. Yes. Today, uh, uh, Guardiola is in England doing well with Man City. So, After you, I know Guardiola. So the, well. the question now is: Yes, he was he was claiming that why are all his assistant manager leaving him for the best, maybe for another managerial role? So the thing, um, the question now is: Should I uh, like what has he been doing? That is making those assistants leave him for better jobs. Okay, let me tell you, it depends on what is happening within the man management of uh, Man City rightly, right now. I didn't understand. The reason why such uh, predicament is happening to Sec Guardiola is maybe there is an internal issue among themselves. See, anything can transpire between individuals. In the management of Barcelona, in the management of Man City, any other club in the world, no man is an island and nobody is God. So if anything like that happens to Guardiola, I'm telling you, they should iron it out within themselves. Guardiola himself is a human being. Every human being, no man is indispensable. That's why I said earlier that no man is an island. If Guardiola is getting it wrong, they should bring him to order. If he's getting it right, let me tell you, white man will have no business fighting Guardiola in his position. Because if you look at all the coaches in the Premier League, none has come out with such success this man has made in recent times. Guardiola has gone a long way. Carrying UEFA, uh, 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 UEFA League, carrying English Premiership. Am I telling lie? When he was La Liga, he made it how many times with UEFA, UEFA uh, 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 League? Thank you. Then, uh, 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 Clasco, El Clasco. Do you understand? El, El, El Clasico. El, El Clasico. He, he, won it, he won it many times in Spain. So let me tell you, even if a cup are not left out. So, Guardiola has gone far in the world managing that round object soccer with all other leagues. Team, league teams, I could not even mention here. So if anything happens to like, like Guardiola in his current team, I think that is where he is getting it wrong because I believe in the system over there in Europe. It is not a system we have in Africa here. The system over there in Europe is more far, far better than the system we have here. And they are very plain to each other there. They are so, very plain. They say the truth. Gadiola so, is getting it wrong. I'm telling you the truth. Lastly, we are coming down to the FIFA Women World Cup. Nigerian match, the Nigerian next match is tomorrow against Australia, the host nation. And then the hosting, they are the host nation, okay, Australia. Okay, okay. So the Nigerian striker said Australia are not better than us. So do you see us besting Australia tomorrow uh, in their own? Uh, uh, yes, you know what? Our striker we have that statement. I credit it to you know uh, courage. I credit that statement to you know uh, uh, boldness to understand. And I credit it again to what is called psychological warfare. If when you say something like that, when you talk tough. You are at the same time putting your opponent into what to a serious dilemma by not making that statement. Australian women, their own counterparts, our women counterpart to Australia, they will be what shivering. They will be checking. He is using psychological warfare to intimidate Australians. It doesn't mean that we are better than Australians. Anybody could say anything. But what we have to know now is that tomorrow, Abby, they are going to the field of play. 
and everything should be what played out to the members of the public. It is then that we know who is better, and it is then that we know who is worse than each other. So let me tell you, our striker can say anything he likes. She likes. I love her. She's saying the right thing. If you don't technically fight your opponent, you can still intimidate him psychologically. It's good to tell the Australians that they are like grasshoppers before our women team. And don't forget that Ochola, I don't think Ochola is there. Don't forget that Mbachu, all those ones I call, I think they have all retired. What we are having presently in our female national team are new crops of professional female yes. players. I love all of them. They are doing well. Especially when they equalize, when they equal their scores with the uh, Canada. Zero zero. I think I gave it to them. In the past, it was the whites that are dominating the female World Cup all around the globe. But this time around, the blacks has gone a long way, especially Nigeria has gone a long way by bringing up female new breed of players that could even withstand almighty Canada, almighty Sweden, almighty Brazil. Let me tell you, I wish those girls the best of luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all we have for you on the sports newspaper. We've digested on every topic available here. From Mayu to Chelsea, from PSG, AC Milan, and our whole, our very own Samuel Chukwuze with Victor Osimhen. So please like our station, subscribe, share.